Okay, so these two things just solved a major issue that I had with my Tesla and it might save you also. You might be asking, Mark, what's the issue? <laughs> okay, good question. There is a rear seat foot vent that's under the front seat, but it's directed toward the back seat. And that vent under the front seat is uncovered right now. Okay, so it's like a hole. Not only is there a hole for the vent, but there's also other holes in the carpeting. And guess what happens if you happen to have a few things on the floor, somebody in the back seat kicks it up, or maybe you're just driving around, hit the brakes, and it slides under the front seat. Guess where some of this stuff might go? That's right underneath the carpet and or into the ventilation system. I'm going to show pictures of where this vent is, how open it is. Uh, I'll show you the issue that I had and uh, the issue with the carpeting. I'll show you some cutaways, what it looks like with the carpeting open and where this vent actually leads to. So in other words, if something gets into this vent, you can't just get it out. All right. You can't just reach your hand into the vent. Uh, depending on what it is, you can't get a magnet in there. So I, I have a couple tools that help with things like this. Like here, check this tool out. Does the light even work? No, of course not. The battery's probably dead. Light, telescopic thing, but it's got a magnet on the end. So if I need to pick things up from somewhere in a little area, I can get to it. All right, well, that's great if you happen to lose like something magnetic. Let's say you have though something like some chapstick, some plastic, I don't know, something that's not magnetic, okay? Coins. And they fall into these vent areas. Well, guess what? You can't get them out. And guess what? They don't fall into nice little tight spaces where they just stick. No. While you're driving, they're rolling around and you're hearing these little noises go on while you're driving. It's extremely annoying, okay? What's the solution? This and this. All right. Let me show you. So maybe this video should be called problems I didn't know I had. Problem avoidance, issue avoidance, issue mitigation, heading issues off at the pass, disaster avoidance. Stick around, quick video. You'll thank me later. So here's the back seat. I've got the front seat up as far as it can go. Let me see if I can show you what's going on here. I think that vent is pretty obvious. Obviously you're gonna have your floor mats here, which I've taken out just because they were getting in the way. and. Hopefully, hopefully, if you watch my other video, you bought floor mats that have a bit of a ridge here. Your floor mats should have a ridge like this all the way around it for water, okay? Whether it's water, snow, melting, you know, you get the picture. Otherwise, everything's just going to slide off. So, if things get dropped here, you know, you've got a little protection here. But, of course, things are going to get dropped outside of this protected zone. So, beyond that, you've got a little bit of a ridge here, and this is an incline but things can easily come flying forward and go right into this vent and again i'll show a picture of where this thing goes but it's bad all right it can go really really deep in there and depending on what it is you're not going to get it out okay so that's a big issue now another issue take a look at these now this is kind of th this carpet isn't connected under here it's separate pieces and in between those pieces, you've got these big gaps right here. If I could show this better. And that leads right into the, you know, the, the metal underbody here. So when things get down in there, luckily these don't really go very far, but it's, it's metal and they're gonna clang around and you're gonna hear them. Same thing over here. There's an opening next to the vent here too. And yeah, over here there's an opening next to the vent also. First thing we're going to do is cover this vent up. And then I'm going to cover up these other openings too. Alright, because those are also a problem. Alright, install's not too difficult if you can imagine at this point. Now, it's going to fit best like this. So, this side down. Okay, so that's stuck on there pretty well. I mean, it's under the seat, so no one's going to be even touching it. Now, let's see what we can do about these other issues, these other openings. So I have found that this duct tape actually sticks to the carpet pretty well. I mean, look, it's not going to, like, stick stick. I think it sticks well enough where it's not really going to go anywhere, considering 
Again, nobody's down here touching, grabbing, moving anything. Also, if you have any other tape that's better than this, uh, let me know. I know there is such a thing as fabric tape. Uh, I know they use it for wire looms and things. The fact that it's called fabric tape fabric tape uh, leads me to believe that it would stick to fabric better and into this carpeting better. So if you do have that tape, uh, by all means use that. And if you have any other better idea to, to cover these holes up also, uh, let me know in the comments below. And somehow I didn't think about this before, I obviously moved the seat all the way forward, but I did not move the back all the way up. Everyone probably knows this already, but this control will lower the seat and raise it. So raise it all the way up, move it all the way forward, and it gives you a lot more room to work down here. Okay, so driver's side, I'm having a minor issue. This side here, it's not long enough to stick down. However, with this cable on it and uh, this carpet also on it, I don't know, I, I guess it could rattle around potentially. So I flipped it up the other way and yeah, it's even worse. So I don't know if this is going to be a big deal or not. Uh, I guess if I drive around and it starts rattling at all, uh, I'm going to be honestly really ticked off because uh, I'm buying this so that things don't fall into the vent and rattle around. If the actual vent is rattling, um, yeah. So if it is uh, rattling around though, uh, really I can just put maybe a couple more pieces of double-sided tape or something in there just to uh, in increase its thickness and have it stick. So anyway, uh, so definitely not a perfect score on these, but overall I think it's they are going to do their job.